Hello everyone, welcome to my uh, channel. I am Timmy Treacle, also known as Horror Fan for Life. And today I'm bringing you four movie reviews. Um, three of which are which are older movies. Uh, one is three years old uh, and was recommended by my dad. But the first movie I'm going to be talking about is The Gauntlet, which was released on December 21st, 1977. It is an action thriller that received positive reviews of critics. It has a 6.4 out of 10 on IMDb and 82% on Rotten Tomatoes. Roger Ebert of the Chicago Sun-Times gave it 3 out of 4 stars. And it has an 88% on Google. Uh, the uh, budget for this movie was $5.5 million and it made $35.4 million at the box office. So another huge hit. And this was uh, directed by Clint Eastwood, written by Michael Butler and Dennis Strack. And this also stars Clint Eastwood, Sandra Locke, and Pat Hengel. Uh, it is uh, one of those, it's, a, it's not so much typical Clint Eastwood. But this is a badass movie. Uh, but before I get into the movie, I wanted to send my condolences to uh, Sandra Locke. I had no idea that she had passed away. She actually passed away on November 3rd. Um, and I just recently, I just found out this morning after uh, looking up her filmography and um, for those of you who don't know, she had a relationship with Clint Eastwood uh, for 13 or 14 years. I think it was from, I think it was from the mid 70s to it was 75 to 89, I believe. Um, her actual name was uh, Sandra Louise Anderson, but she went by Sandra Locke. Uh, her and Clint did several movies together. Uh, her film debut was in 1968. It is The Heart is a Lonely Hunter. And she was nominated for an Oscar for that performance. Um, she did 31 feature films and she directed four movies. Uh, she published a book, her autobiography, uh, The Good, The Bad, and The Very Ugly. Um. Uh, she was 74 years old when she passed away. It was due to uh, cardiac arrest uh, related to breast and bone cancer. Now, her last movie was uh, uh, released in 2017 was Ray Meets Helen. And uh, I'm pretty sure that's probably uh, dedicated to her. But I just want to take the time to send my condolences and uh, rest in peace. I really enjoyed her movies, uh, the ones I've seen so far, and I can't wait to see some more. I really want to see her feature film debut. I heard a lot about that one. But getting back to The Gauntlet, Clint Eastwood is sent to pick up a prisoner who is to testify in a trial. Uh, he goes from uh, Vegas uh, to Phoenix. Uh, to get her and uh, has to bring her back and in doing so they are both hunted not only by the mob who is after uh, Gus Malley played by Sandra Locke but they are also after Ben Shockley uh, uh, and also law enforcement is after him because local law enforcement and uh, some congressmen are uh, fabricating stories of some things he did and uh, so they're both being hunted and there is a bet on whether or not they'll make it back and uh, yeah it's a great movie I love the I love the chemistry between Clint and Sandra uh, uh, there were some minor flaws in the movie uh, there was a uh, shootout uh, involving uh, Sandra and 
uh, car behind them and you could tell that uh, when the bullets were flying that uh, it was a little off when it come to the sound and the you know the effect and everything and uh, there were a couple things here and there where their dialogue between each other was not the best uh, I guess that can go to the writing too um, but other than that I mean the directing of course Clint's awesome both uh, he can write as well he, he just does it all uh, they make it they make a great duo I really wish it would have lasted uh, with them too but Clint was a ladies man and uh, he's had many many different wives and I guess girlfriends over the years but nevertheless the movies they did together were a lot of fun and this is no exception this was a lot of fun to watch so I'm gonna give the gauntlet an 8 out of 10 and two thumbs up so definitely check the movie out especially if you're a fan of Clint Eastwood like I am and of course I love Sandra Locke too uh, I'm gonna be watching another Clint Eastwood movie uh, City Heat uh, tomorrow, so I'm looking forward to that as well. Other than that, in the comment section below, if you've seen this movie, let me know what you thought about it, and what are some of your favorite collaborations with Clint Eastwood and Sandra Locke? Uh, for me, it's Any Which Way But Loose, and Every Which Way You Can. Um, of course, this one, um, and there, there's several of the movies that they were in together I haven't seen yet. I'm looking forward to those. But as always, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon, and let's be, let's just talk about movies, TV shows. I do rankings, top tens, and other fun things on this channel. Um, I'm starting to do some more trailer reactions, although I won't show the trailer itself, but I will give you my thoughts and opinions on uh, new trailers that come out. Now, I don't believe we're going to have any more for 2018, but I did do my reaction for... Jordan Peele's new movie, Us, which was badass. I cannot wait for that one uh, next year. But uh, other than that, I thank you guys for watching. And as always, give this a thumbs up if you like it. And don't forget to share these videos with all your family and friends. I appreciate each and every one of you. And Happy New Year.